Hi guys, how's it going? Hey, welcome back to the den. Another Saturday, another chair. I do laugh because I saw a video and somebody said it's not a den, it's a bathroom. But uh, yeah, well, for today's purposes, it's a den, so get stuffed. Right, here we go. As you've seen by the thumbnail, we're in for a good one, aren't we? First off, Captain's Choice brush. There you go. Captain's Choice 24mm. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful brush, this guy's. Lovely bit of backbone, nice soft top. We'll put that in the official John Shaves Super Soaker. That brush was very kindly gifted to me by Captain's Choice, Scott over there. All I had to do was pay him for it and send him the postage. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Right, okay. Um, the razor we're going to be using, here it is, look. King C Gillette Heritage. Be careful so it doesn't fall out. There it is. We'll get that out. We're not going to be using the blades that it came with. A snapshot. There it is. We're not going to be using the blades that it came with. We're going to use. They've all just come flying out into the water because the end was all. Oh, we're going to be using these King C Gillette. Oh my word. Look, guys, let's get that in there. And then we'll get it in next to the brush. There, can you see it? From memory, I've only used these razors once, uh, and I'm not I'm not reaching for them instinctively, so I can only assume that they weren't that great, you know. Uh, and I don't reach for this razor that much either. There you go, King C Gillette. From memory, it's very very mild. Good bit of overhang there to be wary of. We'll get that in the John Shaves Super Soaker. Um, the balm. Yeah, we'll go with the balm here. Diseo by Jennifer Lopez. There you go. We'll get that on there. And now the pièce de résistance. Here we go. Courtesy of Scouse Ian, who gifted me this a while ago. And I'll talk a bit later in this shave about why when people send me stuff, sometimes it can take me months and months and months to use them. I'll tell you. I'll explain it to you in this video. So you're all like, <gasps> come on, come on. Bait your breath waiting, are you? <laughs> there it is. Scouse Ian sent me the full set. Thank you, Ian. He sent me so much more. I recommend you watch that unboxing from Scouse Ian. That was absolutely unbelievable. I'm still to this day flabbergasted. But anyway, here we go. Two Kings, Normal Otter. I love Normal Otter soaps. There's the poor guys. Before we get into that, let's get into this. We've gone on a website, noblelotter.com. Two Kings Shave Soap. At the moment, it's $20. Um, two Kings focus on two powerful notes in the world of perfumery, rose and oud. I get both of them from this. With rose, we have a powerful elegance known for its own around the world. It gives a feeling of lust, elegance and grandeur. In oud, we have darkness, mystery and power. Two, I thought there was something else in Two Kings. It's a powerfully dark, floral, encapsulated with incense, spice, and a perfect blend for a night out. That sounds about right, with top notes of black currant citrus, heart notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, rose and carnation, base notes of incense, oud, sandalwood, and oak moss. And really the only two notes I get are those. I don't know if it's because I had a good sniff after reading this. Um, but yeah, I get oud and I get... Um, yeah, I get the oud and I get the rose. Yeah, but the oud first and then the rose. And I get something different from the aftershave. But we'll leave that till we splash up. Right, there you go. That's on. Oh, here we go. Oh. Saturday morning, guys. Oh. Shave chaser. What we got in here today? Dunkin' Donuts. Regular blend. Apologies again. Couldn't film last night and get it up. I normally get it up at midnight. Couldn't film, so you're probably going to see this late in the day Saturday. Uh, I don't like doing that, but um, you know, uh, needs must. But let's crack on. Let's crack on with this shave. Um, let's put that there. Here we go, and you'll see it as I see it. Look at this immediately. 
lather up. I've used Noble Otter before. Uh, Scousian sent me three sets of Noble Otter. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much, Ian. Um, and just the stuff the man sent me was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Well, this is... I like to load onto the brush and lather on the face. This has just exploded into a world-class creamy lather. So let's go. We'll wet the face. We'll take that brush, that razor blade, out of the water. <laughs> oh, so how have you all been doing? Mmm, right. The scent strength in the puck, I would put it about a five. Let's try out with the puck, about four maybe, it drops just a little bit. As you can see here. Now I've had, I don't know how long Ian had this. Well, oh, remember, I think I've had it. I think I've had it best part of a year. Look at this. I could keep going with the water and build a rich, voluminous, thick lather. Um, well, I've got a life to live. <laughs> we'll call it. Look at this. Look, oh, the double chin effect. Yeah, here we go. There you go. I wanted to put a Kai in this because from memory it is quite mild. But... Let's see. I did okay. Yeah, it's mild, but it did okay. So let me know what your shares are. Let me know what you think of the stuff I used in this. Uh, yeah, um, I've been gifted so much stuff, samples uh, and soaps to use and so on. And uh, the way the way I work it is running this channel. It's actually quite expensive, um, and I've had to because of my my budget and things in my private life, uh, mainly budget and all the increases. I just can't spend, I never had a lot to spend to start with, um, got even less now, and then the prices have gone up, so what I do, when, when you good people send me stuff, and the discount code for Frank Shaving and shavingtime.co.uk, the, the money I generate from them, I would say your use of that discount code probably buys me a soap a month, maybe there or thereabouts. Not every month. Uh, so between that and me buying a set and the razor blades and the odd razor and so on. When people send me stuff, <clears throat> what I do, I mix it with stuff that I've already got that I haven't used. I've got a drawer in, 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 the, in the shave den. Good draw. So I mix all the samples I haven't used and all the soaps I haven't used with all the stuff that I've bought that I haven't used. And then wherever possible, wherever possible on my channel, particularly on a Saturday, I will always try and use something I haven't used before. Now that isn't always possible. And this is where this is where seasonality kind of helps me out. Because I'm not a great I'm not in with all this. This is a winter season, that's an autumn season. But you can get away with using a soap. <laughs> using a soap you've used not so long ago. You know, if it's autumn. Or if it's Christmas, you know, so you get a video out of that because I know what you're probably all thinking and you might even say it in the comments, you know, we don't really care if you use a soap twice. And I thank you all for that. But the plain simple fact of the matter is the analytics say something else. So that's why I tend, where possible, to get creative, you know do things like um like that um 
a comparison video I did with the Rex and the Heritage. I got away with using an old salt that cost a pound, you know. Because my reasoning is, well, I get a video out of it, and no one's really bothered about the soap. That's why, if you look at my comparison video, when I do a comparison video, it's very rare I'll use a decent soap for want of a better expression. Because nobody's really interested in the soap, they want the comparison with the razors, you know. The soap is almost secondary. Uh, so that's, that's how I. That's how I go about working my videos. It's all, all smoke and mirrors. I bought a set from the razor company. Uh, and I, many would class it as a summer set. I'm going to use it in a week or two. Many would class it in a, as a summer set. It's been sat in there now for about six weeks. Why? Because um, I've been working all the stuff in with it. And I've got another comparison video and I've got a sort there, a sample. I've never ever used before and I'll use that in a comparison or I'll tend to use a sample if I've got a razor to show off I've got a new razor to show off you're all tuning in for the razor nobody will really care whether or not if I'm using a sample you know that kind of thing because it, it, it all all kind of plays into the aesthetic and so on. I know you might not think I do actually take pride in my channel. I always try and draw your attention to something you might be interested in in the thumbnails and in the titles and uh, I've seen some channels out there and they literally just throw everything on a towel, take a picture of it which is fine, I'm not, I'm not saying anything against that, but uh, <sighs> I like to try and put some effort into it. And there you go, there's that. So that's, that's why if you've sent me samples, I've said it before, if you've sent me samples and you're thinking he hasn't used them, they're going nowhere, they're in there and I will work them in. So with some continuity, it's like one sample they sent me, um, I think Christopher Thompson sent me, I want the aftershave for it, and I wanted the aftershave before he sent the sample. So now I'm just waiting till I get round to getting the aftershave, and then I'll use that sample, and so on, and that's, that's where we go. So do you get me? Do you understand me now? Here we go. Lava mittens. Get that on there. Get that on there. You've got to tilt the head back, you see. It, it pushes the hairs forward. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I see there's quite a lot today. Quite a lot, yeah. Very, very mild razor. It's the reason I hardly ever use it. As I think I used it a couple of times when I got it. Um, I think I've used it since it came out, guys. There you go. So let me know what you think of today's shave. Let me know what your slurp of the day is. Your SOTD. It's not shave of the day, not on this channel. Your slurp of the day. I'll be having a nice glass. We've got an Australian Shiraz in there, guys. It's called 19 Crimes. I'll be having that this afternoon. And then I may well have a shower and a gentle snooze before having a secondary glass of jam shed this evening. Watching I'm a Celebrity. Oh my word. My life is just so cutting edge, isn't it? Oh, right. Oh. Let's have a shave. Hmm. It's, uh, I got to a job interview with that, but I'm not completely satisfied with it. Here we go, two kings. Now, the only scent I didn't want to stand forward in this is the only scent that stands forward in this. See if you can guess what it is. Uh, oh, guys. 
we leave the valley. Oh my god. Oh. Lily, I bought a soap once and it was Lily of the Valley and your line of line. And it was so overpowering. I think it's the only soap. I can't remember if I finished the shade. The only soap I ever actually just threw away when I finished. Lily of the Valley. Oh. Oh my God, that stinks. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Ian. Scousey, a lovely, lovely man. Gave me a lovely, lovely gift. Absolutely wonderful. I do truly appreciate it. But that smells like Lily of the Valley and I'm not a Lily of the Valley fan. Jenny from the Block. Diseo by Jennifer Lopez. Rumour has it. Someone told her that Diseo stands for John Shares 101 is a sexy beast in Mexican or something. So she went, oh, we've got to go with that. Here we go. Who doesn't want a kiss on a Saturday morning off Jenny from the block? Mmm. Do you know, despite that being really thin and really runny, it soaks in and it smells absolutely fantastic. That was another one. I was looking at Barnes on Amazon or eBay, and I would never ever buy that stuff. But it was reduced. It was reduced from something, something like £12 to £1.99. So I thought, I'll have that. I'll use it for a year and tell them all I got it cheap. And that was our shade. Hey, we did okay, didn't we, guys? What do you think of that? It's okay. When I sit down and the hairs retract, it'll be a lot, be a lot closer. But that's okay. That'll do for a weekend shave, won't it? Give me a bit extra to shave off on a Wednesday. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for all your support and your comments. My last two videos have done really well. So thanks to you guys and I've had some new subscribers. Welcome on board. Um, yeah, just remember, the world needs more love. I know I say it every week, you're thinking, hey, when you're patronising farts. No, but really, the world needs more love. So let's us be the ones to show it. Look after yourselves and I will see you all on Wednesday. Surprisingly enough, for the Wednesday shave. Bye.